everybody and welcome back to my channel and now in today's video I'm going to be doing a home decor DIY video so I'm going to be showing you three kind of DIYs that I've found on the internet or that I've thought of myself and I wanted to share them with you guys because personally I absolutely love all three of them and I think they're so easy and so simple to recreate and I also think they're really actually good DIYs. I did get a few of them, um, one of them actually off Anastasia's channel, I will leave it linked down below if you haven't seen her videos already um, but the memo board one I got off her channel because I thought it's such a great idea and I actually been wanting to create my own memo board for a while so I thought I would create her DIY so that if any of you haven't seen her videos you will now know exactly how to create this DIY so yeah if you want to see my three easy home decor DIYs then just keep watching the first DIY is going to be these mason jars which I've turned into makeup brush holders so what you're going to need is obviously a couple of mason jars I got these from Hobbycraft and also some acrylic paints I got pink and white and I also got blue and white because I wanted to create a pink pot and also a blue one so what I done was just mix the colors together till I got the desired color um, and then obviously I just painted the mason jars it's so so easy and um, with the first coat I just painted it normally and then when I done the second coat I basically kind of instead of painting the uh, paint on I basically kind of stippled it on just to create a slightly different sort of effect on the actual pot but when I stippled the paint on it looked as though it was like meant to be that way and it looked a lot better so I'd really recommend doing that but as you can see here I'm just carrying on painting that pot and then all you want to do is just put your makeup brushes in the pot and that is it that is how simple and easy this DIY is it's also super cheap because I'm believe these um, mason jars I think they're a pound or two pounds so really not very expensive at all and you can get little pots of paint from any kind of arts and craft shop I think hobby craft do actually do some so yeah I absolutely love how these brush holders turned out so the next DIY is a actual memo board so you're going to need some spray paint you're also going to need some clips to hang your photos up and then you're going to need some photos I got these kind of Polaroid style photos off of photo box I will leave them linked down below if you want to go and buy them and you're also going to need like a wire rack I got this one from BMQ and I can't quite remember what it's called I think it's like chicken coop or something similar to that but as you can see what I've done is my dad just sprayed it in the garden for me and I sprayed it with white paint I then then actually went over with silver because we run out of white but you do want to do a couple of coats of this otherwise you will probably miss parts of it um, as you can see here just simply just spraying the chicken coop wire just so that it's not green that's the only reason why I'm spraying it because I didn't really fancy having green in my room because it didn't match my room at all and silver and white definitely do so yeah just spraying the wire and once you've done that what you want to do is kind of attach it to the wall I just screwed it in with these clips and then simply just put on your photos on to the wire rack I found this works so so well and I absolutely love how this turned out I would also recommend maybe putting some fairy lights around it I did have some but they just didn't suit the color of the wire because they were gold um, But yeah putting fairy lights also is a great way to kind of style this up even more but I absolutely love this DIY it's such a great way to create a cheap memo ball because I think the wire was about six pounds and then obviously all you've got to buy is the spray paint and a couple of photos I just like these ones a photo box because they look like Polaroid photos and yeah that is it for this second DIY so the third DIY is also super simple it's these kind of photo frames that I put quotes in so you're obviously going to need a couple photo frames and also some printed out quotes I just printed these off the internet and off of Pinterest I find a great way to find quotes and I basically just kind of cut them out stuck them together I also drew some mandalas just to kind of like an extra background and I really really love how these turned out so I kind of paired the quotes with the kind of appropriate background that matched it well um, and then literally just stuck them in the frames and that is it it's so so simple and easy but honestly I absolutely love these and feel they're such a cheap way to recreate like some of those things you see on Pinterest and yeah I think they looked lovely with the shelves in my room as well Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really would mean the world. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.